to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure you like, subscribe, go check out my other videos, guys. Also, my shorts, I'm doing shorts um, pretty frequently. Um, a lot of like healthy meal ideas because I'm trying to be in the best shape of my life by my birthday in October. Um, so yeah, go check that out if you want any little ideas for some healthy stuff. Um, so this video I just wanted to talk about how I got started in cam modeling and my journey and a little bit of my background about me. Um, so it all started in 2011. I moved to Vegas and I was waitressing at um, MGM Grand. I was a union waitress which in a nutshell meant that I would get called for my shifts weekly and if you pass in so many weekly calls, like say, like um, you need to work Friday, Tuesday, Monday, and whatever day it was, and then they give you the time. If you pass in so many, then you're just no longer work there. It's kind of how it works in a nutshell. So basically you have to be readily available. And so I was, hold on one second. <laughs> I was going to school for nursing and um, so I kind of had to put that on hold, which really made me upset because I went out there for school. I got accepted to UNLV nursing school. And um, so I just kind of had to go that way because I needed the money. Um, I was alone uh, on my own and um, trying to make dreams come true. So that's what that happened. Um, so one night I was online, I stumbled upon this Playboy contest. It was a non-nude contest called Playboy Miss Social um, and I will go into that in another video of how I won and that whole journey because it was really cool. Um, so I had a local photographer, Carl Bloom. Shout out Carl, love you. Um, um, great, great guy. Um, and he offered to help me uh, not have selfies on my portfolio because I just did selfies um, at that time. This is like 2011, so this was like pretty little cool gadgets and everything else where you could take your own photos. So um, I worked with him, got some good photos up, um, and things just kind of got rolling. And I had got invited to Playboy parties and met some girls. And as I was talking to a few of them, I asked what they did for work and they said they were cam models. And I'm like, what the hell is that? I've never heard of anything like that before. Um, so. I was intrigued and I went on to my first campsite, which was um, my free cams. I think Playboy had one at the time, um, back in the day. So I kind of just sat and watched the girls. And I'm like, this is so cool. I had not, like no idea, right? What goes into it or the logistics and the strategies. I mean, it was just kind of like when I stumbled upon Playboy and Social, I literally had no idea what all entailed in how much goes into contests and you girls know that compete in these um, contests to win money every week. It, there's just so much to it and so much hard work. So anyways, that's how I stumbled upon that. I started um, just by watching. I was getting really sick of the waitressing um, and life is kind of throwing me like, okay, I want to go back to school. I want to be my own boss. I want to have a job where I can work for myself. and modeling just wasn't for me. I didn't like um, that type of modeling um, and I wasn't making any money from it. It was basically like trade work back then or you know whatever so it wasn't really I wasn't making like hundred thousands of dollars a year so to me and it just wasn't really worth it to me so I kind of stopped doing that and I was like okay maybe I should look into this so I just really studied up on the girls and um, research, which till this day, I really don't think there is a lot on YouTube or anywhere about cam modeling and about the logistics and the really the stuff and hard work that goes into it if you really want to be top and um, kind of the unfairness too that goes into it and the little, um, I don't want to get myself in trouble, but um, yeah, um, there's a lot that goes into the cam world. But with that being said, how I got into it was just by studying watching the girls and um, I knew a couple people that that's what they did um, for a living but I never really talked to it uh, to them a lot about it because um, they do keep it secret their family doesn't know no one knows what they do so I respect that and 
um, didn't really push to like ask them a lot of questions about that. I mean, I'm sure they would help me. And I do have a couple of friends that did help me along the way um, to kind of get my foot in the door. Um, but yeah, so my next thing was, this was about 2017 when I dabbled into it. And um, for me, I knew my parents, like what I'm, I was gonna tell them because I can't lie and I'm gonna be making this money and I'm, I'm not <laughs> going to a job anymore. I'm not working for a company and I don't have a uniform. So they're gonna ask like, what are you doing? Um, what's going on? So, and I can't lie, I'm a really bad liar. So I told them, and I knew they, they didn't care um, as long as I do what's comfortable for, for, for me. And like I said, it's your room, your rules. Remember, you don't have to do what everyone else is doing. Um, feel comfortable with saying no. There's many a times where I've passed up privates and stuff like that with probably a lot of money, but I just that's just not what I do, and I'm just not comfortable doing it. So set your boundaries, and I did, and my family knows that I, that, you know, I don't do meetups, I don't do, um, I'm not an escort. Um, it's just me, myself, and I, and Bob. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, your room, your rules. So I wasn't really worried about that. I think the thing with me was the self-doubt, and I was doubting myself. Um, I didn't go full force in the beginning with Kim. I was uh, very, I still am, I mean, I'm still working on the confidence thing and like feeling insecure and um, comparing, which is really, really easy to do in the cam world and get into your head and psyched out. And um, I started on MFC. It was not the site for me. I find that site um, a little bit harder to get um, high up there. I mean, a lot of girls can start the site and get really high. If you have a following, you'll do really great. Um, so yeah, but it just wasn't the site for me, but I stayed with that site too long and, um, I wish I would have ventured out and tried other sites sooner and I didn't. So anyways, that's kind of how I got my foot in the door. It was more of like, um, I come from a small town and everyone talks crap, you know how small towns are. And I think I was more worried about that, I guess. And now that I'm older, I'm just like, I really don't give up hoot <laughs> um, because at the end of the day um, it's your life and um, this is weird to say but when everybody's gone and it's you providing for yourself you want to make sure that you're enjoying what you do you're happy in what you're doing um, you have an end goal you have um, and you wake up wanting to do what you want to do if you're waking up and you're not liking what you're doing then uh, I think you need to reevaluate some stuff and it can be done. You can leave that nine to five job and do what you love. I mean, obviously you have a savings and a backing um, <laughs> to make sure you can, but slowly get into your dreams and, and go that route. But yeah, for me, it was just um, confidence. Um, can I do this? Um, also with Cam, it's you're your own boss. You set your own hours. You gotta make sure that you're um, focused so if you're not a person that can it's like going to college or um, anything else it's if you can't get up and and do this every day and, and set kind of a, even though you are your own boss and you can make your own thing you do want to set a schedule and kind of you know I'm gonna work three days a week I'm gonna wait eight hours three days a week whatever it is um, just make sure that you do it because it can get really hard and it can get really easy to be like oh well I'm just gonna take another two-hour nap and I'll go in at midnight tonight or whatever. I've done that before. But just don't get into bad habits when you're camming and your own boss. But um, so for me, it was being my own boss, making my own money, um, seeing the possibilities with cam and um, being able to go to school, being able to do, um, do um, work from home, which is really nice um, because now that I moved back home, and I am taking care of my dad. Um, it's very easy for me to um, take, do all my stuff that I have to do during the day, and then I relax, and then I do my schedule, um, and I probably don't get out of work till like 7 a.m. in the morning, sometimes 6 a.m., so my schedule is very wonk, but it works for me, and I love it, and I'm so glad I went back to CAM. Um, 
and yeah so yeah so 2017 I was on and off I was testing out MFC um, I didn't like it I really wasn't making uh, the money I wanted or thought I would uh, but I also didn't have the confidence um, I wasn't putting in the hours I had no idea what a cam score was um, I wish I would have done more research I really just my research was really going into these girls rooms um, the, uh, I think a lot of them have retired, but there is some of my favorites out there. Um, they have retired and moved on to other things or whatever, but they were my favorites. I watched them, and I guess I just didn't really um, know all that goes into it in the hours. And anyone that says that it's easy is lying to you or um, it's luck because it isn't easy. And uh, if it was easy money, then everyone would be doing it. Remember, you are an SW worker, and with that comes um, some customers that are just kind of not so nice and kind of raunchy, and you have to deal with that, and you have to deal with people thinking that you're a, you know, whore and all those other words, um, which is so not true. <laughs> so, and then, you know, with that comes guy, if you're dating and you care what your partner thinks, but um i don't plan on dating um until i'm in my 50s maybe maybe i don't know i just have no um no plans for that in the future so i really don't give a shit <laughs> excuse my language what men think um so yeah you kind of have to have that mentality of just not giving a crap what other people think um if this is something that you want to do um, like I said, that was my, I knew my parents would not care. Like I said, I, I knew they would support me no matter what I do. Um, it was just kind of what would everyone else think? And then this, I, the stigma, I guess that comes towards it. But now with, um, OnlyFans being like really out there and everyone doing it, it kind of, um, I don't want to say glamorize this kind of work, but like, um, normalized it a little bit more, I guess I would say. So yeah, and then so 2018 I moved, so I didn't work um, a lot of 2018. I think I like dabbled, I was still trying to figure out. 2019 I took off um, a lot of personal reasons and it was the worst year of my life. Um, I lost two really close people from me, went downhill, blah, blah, blah. 2020, we know what happened then. That's when I went back into camming and um my cam story is just like a long story <laughs> 2020 i live in podunk i literally live in the middle of nowhere um we couldn't get internet out here so i mean i called everywhere and um they had satellite before but it was crap and it was like 220 dollars and um if it didn't work um and you canceled you still had to pay so it just was a lot. So anyways, all of 2020, I was actually hot spotting. So I didn't, I couldn't really gauge how well I was doing on cam, but I was making money. So just went with it until I could figure something out. Um, come 2021, when um, everyone now needs internet because of the pandemic and people having to do school in their houses, um, I was like, okay, we have to have something out here. Um, so I called everywhere. I mean, every place you can imagine, I called and, um, yeah, we finally got internet out here in March of 2021. So March of 2021, I went in ham full time. I say full time, but I really wasn't, I say I was averaging like 30 hours a week, maybe. I don't know. I was, I'm not putting in the hours I should. And that's my goal this year is to really, now that I have the internet and I have the knowledge and I have the drive and um, I'm just ready to go full force with this dream. Um, I'm really trying to put in 40, 60 plus hours a week or like 60. I'd like to put in 60 hours a week. It's the goal this year. We'll see. Let's hold myself accountable to this. <laughs> so I'll check back with you guys next year and see um, if I did. But yeah, I'm trying to do full time and really go full force. And, um, yeah, so this is kind of my first, so if 20, March of 2021, this would be a year that I had internet and, um, 
guess I got my ducks in a row. So now I can really see um, this, uh, wait, 2021 did I say? So 22, I don't even know what years. So 2021 to 2022 was a year. Wait, no, I got internet in 2022. 20, I don't know. Okay, I've had internet for a year. 2022, I don't even know. I don't know what day it is. This is what happens when you get off at 6 a.m. <laughs> I'm running out of empty, guys. So, yeah, okay. So, anyways, screw all what I just said. I don't even know what I just said. But, anyways, I've had in a high speed internet for a year. I need my coffee. I have a long shift tonight, too. So, year. I've been camming for a year with internet, if that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> but I started in 2017 dabbling in. So, yeah, that's kind of my journey. It's kind of been wibbly wobbly all over, um, but yeah, so I'm really excited for this year to, um, like I said, put in my goals. My goals is um, putting in the hours, being consistent. Um, I've mentioned, if you watch my previous videos, I do battle um, PMDD, which is a depression around my period for a week. So I am working with that to try to fix that so I don't miss a week of work. <laughs> So, um, trying to deal with that. We'll see. Um, I'm taking some supplements, uh, that I started this month. So we'll see what happens and how I feel. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that to update you guys. So, um, check out those videos, check out my other videos guys. Um, and if you have any questions for me, um, let me know. Like I said, this is a learning experience for me and I'm taking you guys, uh, on the way because I just feel like there's just not a lot of cam info so if you're new out there and you're wanting to start and you don't know where to start um just drop me questions i'm happy to answer i wish i had somebody to ask when i started like i said <laughs> my first night on dm literal disaster my lighting was horrible i didn't i had a little teeny ring light that i got from i went to an avn with mfc on my laptop. My laptop was um, sitting on a computer chair that was swivelly, so I didn't have anything to set it on. Um, and I had my little webcam. I went up, someone baked hit me. I went up to do the request thinking it was a real tip and knocked over everything for a baked tip. <laughs> and there was a nice enough um, customer in my room um that said that was a fake tip and he ended up tipping me what it was for like i think it was like a little booty shake or whatever it was that he tipped for um but yeah it was a literally it was a disaster i think i had like 20 people in my room i don't know there was no it was not maybe 50. it was a disaster my first day was a disaster um but i went back and i loved it and i had fun and i'm still here and i will cam until my deathbed. I will be in the hospital with my webcam. So I just love it so much. I really do. Um, and I love my regulars. And if you guys are watching, I love you guys. Um, I'll see you tonight. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of, that's my journey in a nutshell. Um, again, if you guys are new and you have any questions and you're thinking about it, let me know. Um, I'm going to look, but I'm, if anyone knows, is it okay for me to um, I might review some websites. I've worked on every site. I can give my reviews on uh, the pros and cons if you guys want me to do that on the sites that I've been on. I've been on um, MFC, Flirt, uh, Naked, Penthouse, all merged with Flirt. I've been on Cam Soda. I've been on Streammate. I've been on um, Chatterbait. I've been on I think a lot of them. I I, I like haven't worked a lot on all of them, but I dabbled and like worked with the site, and I have a profile on them. So if you guys have any questions, I can help. Um, like I said, um, people that are gonna ask me like what site I make the most money on, or um, I think it's different from everyone. I really think that you just need to feel it out, and if you're feeling like this site isn't for you. Um, try another one. My biggest regret, if I had a regret, I don't regret anything, but I wish I would have left MFC sooner and went and tried other sites. Um, 
yeah so just try other sites see what works for you, you guys have any questions let me know if there's videos that you guys want to see let me know um i want to do like i know i can't take you guys with me on like i know the stripper vlogs were there that like come with me to work um can't really do that but i could kind of like tell you what's going on in a, in a night in a busy night in a slow light night and um maybe do some of those um yeah um, I'm also working on getting a better camera for filming. Um, if anyone has any, if you're a YouTuber out there, you guys, YouTube, what cameras do you use? What um, what editing app do you guys use? Because I use VN right now and I'm not sure I'm too happy with it. The coloring seems so off when I'm filming. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe getting a little mic. So um, yeah, let's get to 5,000 subscribers. Once we hit 5,000, I think that's when I'm going to start maybe investing in uh, a camera instead of using, I'm using my iPhone right now, which is fine, but I would like to invest in more because I love YouTube and I love this community. Everyone's been super, super nice with the comments. Again, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I think the next video, I'll talk about more of the Playboy days since that's kind of like um, popular right now with all the TV shows coming out and the stuff my family always asks me about it um so yeah i have stories about my playboy days and when i flew out there when i won their contest i was with miss june 2013 oh my god 10 years ago it'll be 10 years so it'll be the anniversary so i'll talk about that um talk about what it took for me to win a contest um yeah so thank you guys for watching the video and coming along with me on this journey to the top um top cam model let's uh we're on our way we're doing really well i'm actually this is the best i've done in cam and but it's been the most uh, consistent i've been on cam and uh, hour wise too so let's get to the top let's kick ass if you're thinking about starting start just do it literally just do it if you're worried about you don't have the money for stuff girl i had nothing when i first started i literally went to Office Depot um, and bought my webcam. It's the, I have it linked in my Amazon storefront too. I have an Amazon storefront I'm working on for cheap things and expensive things. But I literally just had my webcam, my laptop, and a little teeny ring light. That was it, my first day on cam. So you literally don't need anything. If you have some good lighting, or if you can get somewhere in your house or somewhere wherever you are with like decent lighting and you have a webcam and a laptop, girl, you're good. You're good. Get on there, make some money, then invest in the other stuff. Invest in the like tip toy, tip toy. That was the first thing I bought with my money is the tip toy, the Lush. Um, you can go on lovescents.com and they also have Afterpay or one of those. So if you can't afford it, they have payment plan. Um, so yeah, just do it, just start. Um, don't worry what other people think. If I could give advice to my younger self that started is um, don't give an F what others think and um, enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey, save your money um, <laughs> and keep trucking. Um, even on those bad days, those bad weeks, a bad month, um, don't give up and uh, you got this. And Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, um, be nice, and I'll see you guys on the next one.